Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been missing in action for the last little while, but I am back, back with this easy how-to, tutorial, best of a look, hair, makeup, gemstones, the lot. Let's get into it. So starting with hair, I've just popped in a few GHD curls and let them fall out almost completely just so that I'm left with nice soft waves as opposed to curls. Next I'm going to take two sections from the top for where my space buns are going to be. I can only do one at a time. So like so. Just taking a hairbrush then and brushing out any nasty lumps or bumps. Ideally, to tie these up, you should have the little elastic hair ties, but I only have normal hair bobbins. So I'm gonna have to make do with that. Just make sure that they are nice and even. I'm just gonna leave them down loose for the time being because I want to get the colour in first so that they show up in the buns once they're up. So to colour my hair I'm going to be using hair chalk. The hair chalk that I'm using is Flash Mob by Mark Wins and this is the Live Wire Hair Chalk Highlights. I purchased these in Argos, they cost me $12.99. I ripped them open the second I got home, I couldn't wait to try them but let me tell you the colour payoff is absolutely insane definitely worth the money and then you can just wash them out when you're done. In this set you get a mix of greens, blues, pinks, purples, uh, yellows, blues and oranges but for today's look I'm going to be using just the purple and the pink. So let's get started. So this is what the chalk looks like, it comes with a little sponge as well. Yes I did tell you I used it already. I'm just going to get as much colour on the sponge as possible and leaving the sponge down to one side for just a second. Taking the section of hair that I want to begin with, I'm going to start at the back and work my way forward. Popping that section of hair into the pot and placing this sponge on top and then just clasping it over and then pull it down. Okay, that just made an absolute liar out of me. I'm just going to rub it straight on with the sponge because that's the way I did it the last time. kind of ombre it, giving an ombre effect so you have no harsh lines just kind of pulling it. Can you see that? It's so pink. So the reason why I wanted to do this first is because the colour does transfer onto the skin ever so slightly so I'm just going to get the colour in first and then brush out any of the excess so that it won't ruin my makeup. That's the pink. I'm going to show you the purple and then I'm going to do the rest off camera. So the purple actually comes with a yellow so I'm just going to have to make sure and only get the purple on the sponge because I don't want any yellow hair. So that is the pink and the purple. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest off camera to save time. So this is what we're left with. I absolutely am obsessed with these chalks. They're absolutely insane. I cannot get over the colour payoff. I'm just going to go ahead and pop these two sections into little space buns and then just clean up the little bit of chalk that got on my neck and in and around my hairline. To achieve the space buns I'm just going to take the section and wrap it around itself. Not being anywhere neat at all and just pulling out of them until you get the desired look that you want and then just securing them in place with some pins. I am happy enough with the shape of that one. It's a little bit too much blonde coming through there for my liking, so I'm just gonna take some more of the chalk and pop it into the ends. So then I'm just going to hairspray that one in place and move on to the next. So that is the color and the space ones in. I'm gonna go ahead now and pop some glitter along the center parting just here. I am using glitters from Mr. Price and these are $7.99. Okay, so I am going to be using a mix of these two colors, pink and the purple to match my color. So just before I sprinkle on the glitter, I'm just gonna pop some hairspray onto the parting just to make sure it sticks. 
I want the purple to be the base colour, so I'm going to pop that one first. And I end up popping the pink on top. Ooh. I want to get some more just at the front there. Without it falling everywhere. Ooh. And then just pulling it out ever so gently into the hair. Finishing off with a little bit more hairspray just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so moving on to makeup, I'm gonna skip over the brows and foundation. The foundation that I am going to be using is a new one for me. It is the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. So I just thought it was worth mentioning that the foundation that I use from LA Girl, I really, really, really like it. Um, if you haven't tried it yet, definitely would recommend. I'm not gonna be setting it with a matte setting powder because it is lovely and dewy and I don't want to mattify that. Instead I'm going to be using an illuminating bronzer from Wet n Wild and it is the colour icon bronzer in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. So I'm going to be keeping the eyeshadow very very simple. I'm going to be using a mix of the pinks and purples from the Morphe 35B palette. Going in first with this pink here in a Zoeva 228 crease brush. I'm just going to be using that as the transition shade. So I'm just blending that up nearly to the brow and then I'm just blowing it out past the tail of the brow. Next I'm going in with this purple here and I'm using Glam Dolls Marble Crease Brush. Keeping the same movements as before, just keeping it closer to the lash line. Keeping the same shape. Next I'm going in with this deeper purple using Glam Dolls 342 Bullet Brush. I'm just concentrating this on the Outer V, blowing it out to meet the purpley pink and then swooping it down to the lower lid. So just going back in with the previous colour again, just going to blend out those edges and bring the colour downwards as well. So next taking Glam Dolls 324 Buffing Brush going to buff out the edges because I want to smoke it out even more. Not to complicate things, I'm taking this shimmery pink here. I'm just going to apply that to the inner corner and the center of the lid. Taking a definer brush just to smudge the purple into the pink. Then to do the inner corner, I am taking the Sosu highlighter kit in the shade Moon Sparkle. I'm just going to do the same the other side. I'm going to pop on some lashes. Okay, so that is the two eyes done and the lashes on. These are the Sosu by Lauren Pope eyelashes in the style Queen. I'm just going to go ahead and pop some white eyeliner to the lower waterline just to make those eyes pop and give them more of a dull eye effect. So there we go. I'm just going to go ahead and do a very, very quick contour highlight using the Sosu highlight kit as well. For contour, I'm going to be using Melted Gold and then for the highlight, I'm going to be using a mixture of Peach Moody and Unicorn Dust. For lips, I am using Morphe's Liquid Lipstick in the shade Virgin. So finally moving on to the face gems. I am going to be using these gemstones from Mr. Price. These are either 149 or 199. Either way, they were less than two euro and you can't go wrong. I'm gonna be sticking these on using some clear duo glue. This is a really, really nice pack because they have some lovely round ones, they have some teardrop shaped ones, and then they have some flowery shaped ones as well. Okay, so first of all, taking a little teardrop shaped one, and I'm gonna place that right in the middle of my forehead. Yay. Do you know what? You could nearly just leave it at that. That's beautiful. I like that. Let's leave it at that. No, we'll do a few more. I'm gonna bring a few out over the brow. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and popped on the first one there. I just took the gemstone on my index finger and I'm just gonna pop it on 
over the brow. Okay, perfect. Next, I'm taking a little pink one just to shake it up a bit. I'm just gonna pop it alongside the purple one. So here's a little hack for you for placing on gemstones. I just place a little bit of duo glue on my finger and then pick up the gemstone so that it doesn't wiggle or doesn't fall off. And then you can accurately place it wherever you need to. That's pretty darn good. And then just keep doing the same along the brow. Okay, so that is the face gems on. To finish this look, I am going to be taking just a small bit of pink glitter mixed with a tiny bit of jawline just to apply it to this area of my face here. So I'm just popping some jawline onto the face there and I'm dipping the concealer brush into the glitter and just sparingly popping it just under the eye. I'm gonna bring it up to meet the jewels. So this is the final look, perfect for the festival season ahead. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up and leave me your thoughts in the comments down below. If you would like to see more videos like this, please do subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you don't miss any of my videos. Until next time, bye bye. Mwah.